Hi everyone! I have got these really cute little snow globe box cards that I wanted to show you how to put together really quick. Um, we've got a, a few different styles for the holidays. Um, they're really, really fun and really cute. They all include this little print and cut sentiment and they have a lot of pretty snowflake details. They're just really pretty card and they've, they do fold flat for mailing. Um, they fit in about a five and a half inch to six inch square envelope. Uh, just depending on the size that you cut them, you could scale them up or down a little bit, but look how pretty they are. I love the little snowflake details cut out of the glitter paper. Really, really pretty. So let me show you really quick how to put these together. Um, this is what all the pieces look like um, before you assemble them. Um, here's our little sentiment. I've gone ahead and layered this blue piece and the little snowflakes here on the snow globe back piece. This is the little front piece and this is your main box card. So these are our two inserts and this is the front little insert that's going to glue right in the front. So I'm going to move everything off to the side and we're going to just start by assembling the main box card piece. And we're going to do that by, um, we're actually going to fold everything this direction and the little flaps are going to fold out. So I've gone ahead and glued on the little snowflake detail on the front of those two little flaps. So we're basically you're just going to form a little square like that. Super easy. So in fact you might want to use a little bone folder to get a nice creases on all those. And then we'll put some adhesive on that glue tab and just close up our box. Now that you have your little square box card base put together, you're just going to take the snow globe piece and we're going to glue it to the inside back of our box card. So I'm just going to put some adhesive and don't go, make sure you don't go above the, where the rounded part begins just down here in this little rectangle section at the bottom and we'll just go ahead and slip that in and glue that in place and you can just make sure it's nice and purple or even at the bottom just lines up with the bottom of the box card and you can actually use the table to help you just use some pressure to glue that down so that is basically what it looks like when you're done and then you have um, a little front insert. We're going to put that in at the end and you've got a couple of layers. And if you'll notice that the layers on the um, snowman are a little different. You've got a little tree to layer on top, but on the Santa, we've just got the snowflakes here and on, we've also got a nativity and we just have the snowflakes behind the nativity as well. And we also have a little truck and those just have the snowflakes behind as well. So there's a couple of different variations with the tree and with the snowflakes. So you're just going to glue the snowflakes or the tree layer in the back. And I like to fold those tabs back and then just glue them in where they're touching the back of the card, but also like lined up right along with the top edge of the base here. So just put a little adhesive on those two tabs and pull those in and just line those right up inside of there. And with the back of the card, I like to just kind of push that down, make sure it's even with the back of the card. Make sure it doesn't come up any higher than the top edge there. And just glue those in and, and then I usually like to roll it flat and just make sure everything lays nice and flat because then you know you'll be able to fit it in an envelope when you're done. Oh, and that one came loose, so let's go ahead and put a little more glue on that one. Okay, so then when you're done with that layer, you're ready to put in the second layer. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and put Santa Claus in. He's really cute. This nativity is really simple. It's just one layer on top of the base, so that's easy. Santa's a little more work. He's got a lot of cute layers to him. But not too bad. I've, I've tried to simplify it as best that I can for you, but also keep him really cute. So I'm going to fold those back and we're just going to, we're going to actually, they can actually either go forward or back, but I'm just going to go ahead and do them towards the back. 
I have spaced these tabs evenly so that they can go forward or back and it'll still give you nice even spacing. And then again, once you have it in place, just kind of roll it flat, make sure everything lays nice and flat for you. Look how cute this is getting. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put our snowflakes there on the front. Look how cute this is. Now we just need to put the front of the snow globe on. And that just lines up right there at the top, two corners. Uh-oh. I think this glitter cardstock doesn't really like adhesive very well. Let me get this in place before it gets stuck in the wrong position. Okay, so let's try this again with the adhesive cardstock. The main trick here is just making sure that it dries. Once it's dried, it'll be fine. While that's drying, we'll go ahead and put our little Merry Christmas sentiment on. So I've got some pop dots here on the back, so I'm just gonna pull off the paper. Just glue that right down. Okay, so there we have our cute little Santa and his present in a little snow globe. Isn't that fun? So like I said, on this version, you will have the nativity as an option and you'll have the tree as an option as well, or I'm sorry, the uh, truck with the tree in it as an option as well. So I hope you have fun making these adorable little snow globe cards, box cards this holiday season and I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.